These are leatherback turtle babies. Look how precious as they just get out of their shells. You see? Look at that. There they go. They're just trying to get into the ocean. They're so special and they're so tiny. Now, as you may or may not know, leatherback turtles are endangered. There aren't many left in the world, which is just so sad. And they are pretty much found from as far as Alaska and Norway to as far south as Africa and the southernmost tip of New Zealand. Look at this little baby! Oh, it looks like it's flapping its wings, but it's really just trying to get into the Wawa. Look at that, that cute little leatherback. Now, leatherbacks are just extraordinary, and their numbers are dwindling thanks in large part to deforestation, and they get caught in fishing nets, which is terrible. Here we see a leatherback turtle in the Wawa, just floating around and doing its thing. It's gorgeous here in the water. Now, sometimes the leatherback sea turtles are referred to as the loot turtle or the leathery turtle. Um, they are the largest of all living turtles. And they are the fourth heaviest modern reptile behind three crocodiles. Can you believe that? And they are just so amazing. They can be differentiated, differentiated. Oh, however you want to say it. They can be torn, they can be told, you can tell them apart from other sea turtles because of its bony shell. That's how they got its name, the leatherback turtle. Let me see if I could say the word I was trying to say. Differentiated, thank you, differentiated. Now, they are extraordinary, and as you can see, they, they, lay, a lot of they lay a lot of eggs, and they all hatch mostly at night. And it's hard because when they hatch and these little babies try to get into the Wawa, you have birds of prey that love to snack on these gorgeous little baby leatherback sea turtles. Oh, how precious. But as I was saying, getting caught in fishing nets is a terrible, terrible uh, way for their numbers to decrease, as well as global warming and climate change. And they have to deal with predators from the sky and awesome. Oh, look, you can do it, baby. Get in that water. You can do it. Go, go, go. Get in that water. Get in that water. There it goes. It's just running around in the sand, just trying to get into that precious water. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Now, efforts are definitely always being made to try and protect these and other endangered species. But the leatherback turtle really is almost on the way out, which is just so sad. And scientists are predicting in about five to ten years, if we don't do something to help stop it, they're just going to go to the wayside, which would be absolutely terrible. Look at all of these leatherback baby turtles. It's a party. Ooh, goodness. I hope no nasty birds come along. Now, Pacific leatherbacks divide into two populations. One is in Indonesia, and the other one is around California, around the coast of California, Oregon, and Washington in North America. They are just so fabulous, and hopefully these babies will make it to the water without getting devoured. Um, they won't, hopefully they won't get caught in a fishing net, hopefully a bird won't come along, or hopefully some other land uh, predators won't come and eat them. They're also found in parts of Hawaii, and they are just so gorgeous. Who wouldn't want to be in Hawaii when you're a little baby leather back turtle? It's probably the best place to be, catch some rays and hang out. The leather back turtles. Hey, subscribe right now and click these links you see before you and go vote tomorrow. Do it.